It has no taste, color or smell and we often look right through it. It covers over 70% of the earth, cycling from the oceans and rivers to the clouds and back again. It even makes about 60% of our body. With all this water around us and inside us, it's easy to take its presence for granted. UN predicts that by 2030, half the world's population will face high water crisis. Combining hydrogen and oxygen in laboratories cannot produce water in test tubes. Today, 7 in 10 people on Earth can count on having water in their homes. 70% of our globe is covered by water. But is it safe to drink? 97% of water is seawater. 2% of the water is locked inside ice caps and glaciers. Remaining 1% is left for us and 0.7% is left for our use. Though we have more water on Earth, we don't have enough fresh water for use. But the problem is not just more people on Earth are using water. It is how we are using water. Within 2025, two-thirds of the world's population will face water shortage. Water scarcity, unclean water, is really a big concern. Bank Goldman Sachs predicted that water would be the petroleum of the 21st century. Rewind a few decades back, we can see free and clean water. But now, we pay for clean water. And in future, we would have to pay for washing hands with water. Due to inadequate water, there is no proper sanitation. This causes the spread of many lethal diseases. Every day, more than 800 children under the age of 5 die from diarrhea attributed to unclean and unsafe water. By 2050, at least 1 in 4 people will live in countries affected by chronic or recurring freshwater shortages. Cape Town is the first major city in the world which indefinitely planned to shut off water supply. Four million people will stop getting running water and they have to get water rations from city water stations. Day zero for water shutoff in Cape Town was pushed away by the proper utilization of water by the people. Problem is not found outside, it is within us. If this continues, Today's India can become tomorrow's Cape Town. Small drops of water can make a mighty ocean. A change in you today can change the world tomorrow. Now it's your turn to think. How valuable is water to you? On behalf of Department of Environmental Sciences, Bishop Heber College, we appeal you to value and use water wisely and contribute to Achieve Sustainable Development Goal 6 Water and Sanitation for All by 2030